This pickup is impossible to find because only 20 units of it were ever made. Some of these trucks are the rarest of the rarest, almost like they're hidden secrets known only to automotive experts. These are 20 of the most secret pickups you've never even heard of. But before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Truck and Roll for more content like this. Starting at number 20, it's the Dodge Lil Red Express. So, in 1978, during the final few days of the muscle car era, Dodge introduced this beast of a truck. Unlike any other American vehicle of its time, it boasted a powerful engine capable of hitting 100 miles per hour thanks to its 225 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, originally designed for police cars. Its standout features included real oak side panels, pine flooring, and flashy gold graphics, making it a beloved icon of its era. With over 2,000 units produced in 1978 and even more in 1979, it's a real gem to find nowadays. And so is this next truck. At number 19, it's the Dodge Midnight Express. Crafted by Dodge for just one year in 1978, this beauty only had about 200 units ever made, elevating its status among collectors. What sets it apart from its famous yellow sibling, the Dodge Lil Red Express, is its monstrous 440 cubic V8 engine. Its sleek black exterior and unique design make it a must-buy among collectors, especially when you consider just how rare it is. And this is also true for this next truck. At number 18, it's the GMC Cyclone. This pickup, born in 1991, rewrote the rules with its stunning 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in just 4.3 seconds. It's armed with a turbocharged V6 engine, pumping out 280 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque, leaving just about everyone amazed with its performance. Limited to just 2,995 units over two years, the Cyclone's legacy endures as one of the fastest but also most secrete pickups ever. And the same can be said about this next truck. At number 17, it's the Dodge Ramrod Hall Edition, made in 1990, only 33 of these beasts exist. It was made when Dodge teamed up with racing legend Carroll Shelby. With a robust suspension system, this thing was made for those tough trails. Though production halted abruptly, this truck shows Dodge's consistent ability to innovate. So definitely keep a lookout for this one, because it's a piece of automotive history. And this is also true for this next truck. At number 16, it's the Lincoln Blackwood. Unveiled by Lincoln, a part of Ford Motor Company, in 2002, it surprised people with its luxury meets utility vibes. Inspired by the Ford F-150 Supercrew and Lincoln Navigator, the Blackwood had a unique faux Blackwood pattern on its cargo box. Despite its apparent charm, sales flopped making it one of Lincoln's rarest and shortest-lived models, with just 3,383 units ever made, and this next pickup is right there in terms of rarity. At number 15, it's the Jeep J10 Honcho. For a lot of people, this truck is a symbol of durability and timeless style. Produced by American Motors Corporation in 1974, it offered various trims like the iconic Honcho, and Golden Eagle. With its 26-year run, it got the attention of many collectors with its smarter dashboard and engine choices ranging from 112 to 225 horsepower. Interestingly, despite being made for so long, it's still one of the rarest trucks today and is equally a secret. And so is this next pickup. At number 14, it's the 1991 Ford Sky Ranger. This pickup is kind of a rare gem from Ford's legacy. With fewer than 20 ever made, this convertible truck is ideal for thrill seekers. Powered by a robust 4 liters engine delivering 155 horsepower, it doesn't skimp on performance. Despite this, it was initially overlooked, but its rarity now boosts its value in today's collector's market, which can also be said for this next pickup. At number 13, it's the Chevrolet Silverado Intimidator SS. This pickup is shrouded in mystery. Released quietly in 2003, it's a special version of the Silverado 1500 with upgrades to its engine, appearance, and interior. Powered by a potent V8 engine, it had 345 horsepower and 380 pound-feet of torque, coupled with a special transmission and four-wheel drive system. With its striking design and homage to racing legend Dale Earnhardt, it became a fan favorite. People would to see it return, just like this next pickup. At number 12, it's the Ford F-150 Knight. Emerging in 1991 and 1992, these trucks had an aura of exclusivity with striking black paint, unique multicolor stripes, 
and a night design. Originally exclusive to regular cab F-150S, the night package expanded to include different F-150 styles and the Bronco. Under the hood, drivers could choose between a 302 or 351 V8 engine, offering power for any kind of ride. With its overall design and rarity, it's quite a sought-after gem nowadays, just like this next pickup. At number 11, it's the Dodge D100. Produced in 1969, this truck blended muscle car power with practicality. Its unique stripes gave off major toughness vibes, making it a hit among younger drivers. Despite its cool factor and unique name, the D100 was rare to find, which only adds to the whole appeal. Under the hood, it roared with a powerful Dodge Big Block 383 V8 engine. And this next pickup might be even cooler. At number 10, 1978 Ford F-150 Freewheeling Edition. This unique thing came in two variants. The style side version sported a sleek, blacked out look with a rainbow design, while the flare side model boasted fancy pinstripes. But after nearly four decades, the vibrant colors have faded and the distinctive designs are no longer in production. This is sadly true for this next pickup too. At number nine, it's the Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi GTX. This is a special edition truck that hit the scene in 2004 to honor Mopar's iconic history. Customized by experts at LA West of Indiana, this rare pickup pays homage to the legendary 426 Helephant V8 engine. It's got some pretty cool colors like Hemi Orange and Plum Crazy Purple giving the Hemi GTX a retro charm. Sporting big 20-inch chrome wheels and luxurious leather seats, it's powered by a mighty 5.7 liters Magnum Fur 8 engine. With only 433 trucks made in the first year, it's a true collector's gem. And so is this next pickup. At number eight, it's the Bigfoot Cruiser. This is a secret upgrade for the Ranger, F-150, and F-250 trucks. It's beefed up with massive 33 or 35-inch tires, a rugged front bumper with a winch, and a powerful light bar. But despite its appeal, it faced serious issues like unexpected fires and accidents. Ford even had to recall it due to cruise control problems and safety concerns. At number seven, it's the Chevrolet K10 Snow Chaser. Painted in bold red with golden stripes, this truck was made for the winter. Made in 1984, it's a special version of the Chevrolet K1500, featuring at number eight, it's the Bigfoot Cruiser, 1,500 ever made. Spotting one feels like discovering hidden treasure. Its clever black lower paint protects against rust from road salt, while the unique flying bridge spoiler gives it a distinctive look. And speaking of cool looks, I've gotta mention this next pickup. At number six, it's the 1979 GMC Sierra Classic. This is a true workhorse often overshadowed by more famous models. This square body truck was a pioneer embracing diesel engines and changing things in a big way. Available in various flavors like Sierra Grande and High Sierra, it stood tall against Ford's dominance. Today, collectors seek out this elusive gem for its history and charm. At number five, it's the GMC Sierra Indy 500. Unlike its flashy predecessor, this truck has a sleek black design with a stylish gradient type. GMC went all out, offering the Indy 500 package in stepside and fleetside versions, complete with flashy fenders and rugged tires. It marked the birth of the first hot rod pickup from the Indy 500 program, powered by a mighty V8 engine. And speaking of style, this next pickup deserves a mention. At number four, it's Dodge D100 Spirit of 76. This pickup truck is steeped in American pride. Released in 1976 during the nation's bicentennial celebrations, it had a patriotic red, white, and blue design with eagle motifs. With limited production, it's become a prized possession for collectors. Under the hood, you could choose between a standard 225 slant 6 or upgrade to a powerful 318 V8, while inside, colorful cloth and vinyl seats match the exterior theme. Now, on to our next pickup, at number three, it's the GMC Sierra California Sundancer. Painted in vibrant yellow, this perfectly captured the state's sunny vibe. It was equipped with a sunroof to soak up the rays. Featuring unique upgrades like tubular steel bumpers and gas pressure shock absorbers, it targeted sports truck enthusiasts. Despite its rarity and distinctive charm, only a handful were sold. Then, at number two, it's the Dodge Gene Machine. This pickup was a bold move by Dodge in 1978 when denim was all the rage. 
This special edition D-Series truck rocked a blue jean exterior with striking orange pinstripes, but the denim theme didn't stop there. Inside, the seats got a denim-like treatment with orange piping, while the rest was pretty standard cloth. Despite its humble interior, this truck's unique denim tie-in makes it a rare gem of 70s automotive oddities. Finally, at number one, it's the Chevrolet C10 Big 10. Crafted by GM to outsmart emissions regulations, these trucks appeared ordinary but packed a hefty punch. Weighing in at 6,200 pounds, the Big Ten skirted regulations while boasting powerful 350 CI and 454 CI V8 engines. With rugged suspension and customizable options, these trucks became beloved icons of American automotive history. Now if you want to check out some more content on trucks, make sure to click on this next video.